Hey, good morning everyone. Sorry about the wind today, but with the wind came the warm weather. Uh, it got up to, it was like minus 14 last night when I went to bed and it woke up to zero or 32. But with the warm weather, we got the wind. So this video is going to be a, ta a tad windy. Anyway, uh, I have the MX-35 hooked up to our old Owatonna uh, grain hammer mill. It has a square bale attachment on it so you can grind up square bales and mix it with the grain. It's called a hay mill, this part. But uh, the rest of it is just a simple hammer mill. This thing we got from the neighbor, I think we paid like a thousand bucks for it. It was a lot better than our old international grinder. That thing was uh, antique. There's where the crushed barley. This is what we're going to feed the cows with today. Try and get them into the corral because we've got a couple more. Oh, the trailer. Look at that trailer shot there. Wind, oh, and melting snow. Yeah. Okay, well, I just uh, finished putting the chain on here. So I was wrong with it. Oh. I had to replace that chain. I had to take a link, a link out of it because it was too, uh, it was too long. And the little, I have to put this little wooden uh, tensioner block in yet. Goes on that uh, screw there. Uh, the sprockets aren't that great anymore, but uh, yeah, she'll work now. It's tight enough; you don't really need it. it needs new sprockets, but whatever. So yeah, we'll fill this up with green real quick. Hey, Sean! So we got it. Uh, I got the chain on. Take the link on it, like I mentioned. And I greased her up. Right, Sean? I gotta stop saying right, Sean, because it's like one lonely farmer's right him. I don't mean to copy him, it's just a habit. Anyway, get back to where it's not so noisy. I got, uh, we, we backed it into this uh, little bin, it's about 1,600 bushels, and it has some of the barley in there. These two are with, these, the three big ones have wheat in them. Uh, we're not going to crush any wheat, so. So yeah, we'll just wait till she's full, and uh, take it out to the cows. I need two loads, I need one. One to feed the cows and then one in the, in the building to feed the chickens and stuff like that. Mom's chickens. Take you in for a closer look. before we're full. Uh, this this particular grinder has a weird belt setup. I really hate it. It has those really tiny belts that you have to put like 12 of them on. Setup. I wish you could just put four uh, C-width belts 
or be with belt. And that be that would work way better than those little stupid ships. But that's the way that one's made, so that's why I can't uh we can't really stuff it or uh, we can't really get the grain to go in it really fast, it's gonna be slow, so or else the belts will slip. But for as much as we use it, it works works fine. Right Sean? Oops. <laughs> That one, that one was on purpose. All right, we'll uh, fill this, get this thing crushed up full, and then we'll take it to the cows. Well, the cattle can sense that I'm coming with the feed grinder. Uh, we just had them herd it all in here to get three calves that escaped last week. So I'm just waiting for the gate to be open. I got the big mixer. I'm just doing this now so we can get them the hell out of here. Because they want to hang around the gate. Get out of my way. This is where it gets hard sometimes, you don't want to get out of your way. My horn doesn't work. It works on the 120, but not on this one. Get the hell out of my way. Get out of here. Barley, crushed barley. We put 
put a little bit of uh, gumbles in there. This is a vitamin gumbo. Keeps them from getting sick and stuff like that. And we're going to go take it and put it in the, the drain shed that we use just to feed my pail. This is just about full. Of it is rolled. But anyway, yeah, 